true. Uh, loads going further south in Texas. We're in uh, Texarkana right now, and uh, this thing is going to be going all the way down south by the border. Relaxing ride down there. <clears throat> and uh, hope you enjoy the ride. There we go. There he is, as beautiful as ever. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing? What's up, Tinkerbell? Oh, just getting my morning run in. Yeah? 4,000 yeah. miles? Uh, no. 7.48. Oh. Toned it down a little bit, huh? Yeah. Good. Now what? Now we run it. Oh, okay. Good. Good. How are we this morning? Oh, rough night last night. Again. That's not good. Yeah, it kind of sucks when you wake up 3, 3.30 fucking choking to death. up a little late this morning, huh? Uh, I got up around 9, I guess. Like I said, that's a far cry from the 5 a.m. you used to do, isn't it? Well, it's the time I'm going to bed. That's the problem. I know. Hang on one second. been converted. I told you it would happen, didn't I? Somewhat, yeah. Yeah, fucking hang around that fucking Kenny. Although he's converted too. It's all right. He never used to get on this early as he's been. Ever. times he fucking come in at 11 o'clock wanted to go fucking trucking do f do five runs and I'm like are you fucking crazy yeah I mean when it gets you know when you've been on it since the morning and then it gets to be you know 12 o'clock yeah you're, 12 o'clock in the morning it's just you're, you're burnt out from the game they burned yeah yeah You still want to do it, but you've had enough. I know. Kind of, you get so to the point where you, you, like you said, you just you had enough. Right. But I guess it is what it is, Senor.
man, there's a few times I haven't even played the game. I'll go play my other game. Fuck it. Well, that's what I started to do this morning, and I just lost interest. Got back on this. What other game? My uh, police sim. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just wasn't there, was it? Not this morning, no. So you won't be on tomorrow at all. Unlikely. Um, I don't know what's going on because uh, right now, as we're speaking, the plans are changing constantly. In what way? Uh, location, food, location, added. you know, everything really. Oh shit! Well, that's not too good. So close to. Yeah, you know. know. Puts, uh, puts a few people on edge. Puts everybody on edge. I christen the what? The flying wasp. <laughs> you don't explain. I don't get it. I don't. You care to explain? There's something on the back, too. Oh. That goes, that goes with this. Yeah, what is it? Maybe I'll comprehend it. Well, don't just stand there. Go get some glue. <laughs> I christen the, the wasp. The flying dishonest. wasp. Flying wasp. And on the back it says, well, don't just stand there. Go get some glue. <laughs> I, no. No. That fucking flew right over my head. Real supersonic. Oh my god. Daddy shit. I don't even remember that, and it's been so long since I saw that movie. Years. Yeah. yeah. You're uh, you're dating yourself, you know, as yeah. close to pet petrified as possible. <laughs> petrified wood. I know. That's okay, though, right? Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. That's right. Fuck them. Fuck them where they sit. Fuck them where they stand. Fuck them on the roads they rode in on. We have another little store in the next town. Yeah. And I wish the fucker was here. I'd like to swap stores. Because it's like, fuck, 15 minutes away anyway. Yeah, about 15 minutes. And they have a little deli counter. counter. They make shit. Um, like this morning, they they advertise they that whole fucking tray of fucking fresh, homemade, plain donuts. Ah, okay. uh, those are the best. I like donuts. My mother. Ah, uh, my mother used to make donuts. I've never tasted a donut in this world. It was funny. There was one time. I like my food simple. I don't like a lot of spices. I like it. I like to taste the food. You know, don't cover oh, yeah. up the food. And I went to a BBQ at a at a friend's house and. She wanted to hook up, and I just, I just couldn't do it, dude. We, uh, it wasn't there first off, right? And second off, she was my friend, yeah. and, and friends don't do that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Almost did it, but I called it off. I said, no, I can't. I just can't do this, Cindy. Not happening. And we still remain friends. But anyway, so one, one summer I went 
to her and her husbands for a barbecue. Okay. <clears throat> and she had made potato salad. Oh, potato and my mother... Yeah. yeah. With hot dogs. Fuck yeah. Good or job, potato salad with beans and hot dogs. With biscuits. Anyways. And I put a dollop of her potato salad on my plate and everything else. And I tasted that and I was like, I was floored. It tasted 99% like my mother's, if not like my mother's. I, w I was just floored. All right, sometimes that happens, man. It, yeah, I was just taken aback. Like, oh my God, I should have married this bitch, <laughs> you <Yeah>. know? <laughs> <clears throat> Sometimes you're lucky that way. She's a good woman. She really is. Yeah. A lot of my woman friends, they're all good women. Well, that's good. But I just, that, that was it. They were nothing but friends. And a lot of women friends. Shit tons. You know, you see it every day. It's like, um, you know, you, you, after being around people, you can tell if they're a... Well, take take you and I, for instance. We're both men. Are we a man's man or a woman's man? We're men's men. And the same, well, thing, and the same thing for women. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're men's yeah. men, yeah. Right. The same thing goes for women. Are they a woman's woman or a man's woman? Because my ex-wife, she is not a woman's woman. Every no. one of her friends, from when the whole thing started, back way back when, that she's lost so many freaking women friends, it's not even funny. Yeah. Because of the way she is. Because it's just how they, that's who she, you know, well, who she is. And, right. You know. It's like my youngest son's mother. She and I had a lot of friends together. And none of them, when, you know, when shit went down, like you said, we lost a lot of friends. A yeah. lot of friends. I mean, it took years and years and, and years, but eventually all of them wound up and, being non-existent. Yeah. At the end. And the thing is, and I don't know about your ex-wife or not, but my my youngest one's mother's youngest one's mother she didn't give a fuck yeah she didn't give a fuck well i don't it, think it really mattered to her to be honest with you yeah it didn't it just didn't matter it just it doesn't phase some people you know what i mean yeah but every time i invited friends over from work with their wives and everything it just there was sand there was sandpaper there yeah yeah. I mean, well, I, have, I obviously handled my friends normally, and yeah, the women well, were kind of left to do what they were doing, which wasn't much. Well, it's like my best friend was a woman, not a guy, a woman. Yeah, so you don't you don't typically hear that. No. I've slept with a lot of, well, not a lot. I've slept with a number of women in their bed, in their house, or whatever, and not done nothing, just out of pure respect. Right. Just sleep fucking naked together. Yeah. Nothing happened. Yeah. Well, sometimes that's how it is. Sometimes it's all, that's sometimes it's all you want. That's all I did want. And by doing that, because women have a little uh, ash, cliche, not a cliche, a little click, what have you, yeah. word travels. And I think because of the way, the way I treated them, word traveled that they knew that I respected them. 
Yeah. There's some women who would talk to me about some bad, some fucking shit, like, you freaky no, bitch. They don't have, they don't have their fucking war stories. They had quirks, too. Quirks. Everybody's got them. I was, I've been proposed to three times and turned them all down. Aren't you the lucky bastard? I have three women proposed to you. Yeah, I shit you not. No, I was married once. That was enough for me. I, I'm never gonna do that again. Ever. It, well, know. I mean, if everything works right and you all you both get along and there's no issues, then being married is not so bad. Mm -hmm. Just a piece of paper. And after that point, after I got divorced, no, it meant nothing. It meant nothing. When you think you do everything right, and shit just falls apart, you're like, "It yeah. wasn't my, it wasn't my fault," you know? Yeah. Devastated, and that's when I said, "No, never again." Yeah, I know. Mine, gonna mine was a rough one too because I had been with her since I was 19. Yeah. Yeah, when I went and met my wife, I was 17, and she was 16. No, 15. And I met her through her mother. I used to talk to her mother on the CB. Back when, in the 70s, when well, CBs were popular. Oh, yeah, I was... That was like 10 years before your time. Yep. And she and I hooked up when I think we were together for two or three years before we got married and then we were married for 11 years and then she fucked around that was the end of it yeah I was married for 18 some women don't handle their husbands being away for extended periods of time either I guess it just got to her you know, because I was in the service at the time, and I was getting, you know, I went to Europe for fucking right. a few months. <clears throat> went over to, you know, Southeast Asia for a few months. Yep. Kind of like a truck driver's wife. They got to be a special breed or they ain't going to make it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's you know? rough. Well, well, it's just like that woman Sarah I showed you the picture. That pretty one there. Yeah. I bet I still to this moment. I bet you if I went and saw her, proposed to her, she'd marry me in a fucking heartbeat. She'd been chasing me for fucking <laughs> wow, ten years. Yeah. She did was not so much now. slept with and did nothing she's That's... she makes the worst choices in fucking men <laughs> I'm like That's sometimes sometimes women uh, they, they just they keep it, choosing the wrong guys and you have they keep going back and over yeah over, over and, and over. over and over again I'm like what you're like what the what fuck you, how many times can you take shit or right get shit from the same fucking guy the same shit from different guys, but it's still the yeah, same shit. They had the you same tendencies. Walk the fuck away. You stupid cunt. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. You are uh, a stupid cunt. Wake the fuck up. Uh, you know, and you know what they always say? I know. 
Yeah. Well, I you know. Don't say the same thing. I know. I know. I know. I shouldn't have. I know. I know plenty of people like that. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I just can't help. Smack. Jesus, wake yeah. the fuck up. Did a goddamn crossbeam upside the head instead of a two by four. Yeah. Or a bus run over you. Uh, makes the world go round. That's right. What would we have to talk about if that shit didn't happen? Hmm. Man shit. <laughs> Well, I suppose I gotta go in fucking one o'clock. I didn't get up until fucking ten. Ten thirty. See that thing I sent you? Uh, which one? On Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> yep. The fucking guy with the horse head. Oh, fuck me. Smack! Smack-a-rooney. Mm, fucking dildo head. Maybe I'll have a couple of poached eggs on toast for breakfast. I ain't had that in a while. Sounds good. I got a couple of groceries coming from the store. Yeah? Yeah. You gonna eat, you gonna eat good for a few days? Well, just, just some stuff I've been missing, you know, like uh, English muffins and... I ran, oh, out of, yeah. I ran out of butter. Oh, you gotta have butter. Real butter. Land of Lakes butter. Yeah, Land of Lakes. Whether it's got that fucking Indian on it or not. Yeah. Did you say they're putting Aunt Jemima back on syrup? Good. They should. Yeah. Fucking assholes. Fucking. Whoa. It's all right, everything that these fucking assholes did, it, Trump's gonna reverse. Huh? Did you, like I that just... fucking statue of Robert E. Lee? That they took down? They're gonna put that shit yeah. back up. I hope so. Fucking it's assholes. Who the fuck are you to tear shit down like that? They don't just like because it. Just because it offends some people. You know what? You fuck off. You can't change history. It is what it is. It is what it is. That's right. It. I just was reading yesterday that Walmart's getting out of their fucking... Yeah, they did that de DEI shit. DEI? Yep. I saw a video on it this morning. Yeah. It's fucking bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit. Yeah. Well, as one one guy I saw yesterday put it, why are veterans given one day a year and LBGTQYXZ given a whole month? Yeah, I know, man. I know. It's all bullshit. It, nobody, I mean, the way I look at it, and what I've seen and read, nobody gives a fuck if you're queer. Nobody uh, I cares. I don't give a fuck either, just keep it the fuck away from me. But the thing is, they they want to ram it of down your do. fucking throats. Like they're fucking special. Bitch, you ain't do. special. And listen, it's, just, it's the same thing when I, when I was teasing the other night about the Bible thumping. Okay, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I believe in. Uh, the, the, there's, there's a time and place. There's a time and a place for everything, and don't ram it down my fucking throat. Right. I was brought up Catholic. I went through eight years of grammar school, Catholic school. I was yeah. a, I was an altar boy for six of those eight years. I, I went to church every Sunday up until I was 15, 16, and I try to live my life the best way I, I, I possible. Yeah. My parents brought me and my brother and my sister up right. right. Now just leave me the fuck alone. Right. You don't need to cram that, try cramming no, that shit. No, don't need it. Don't just need it. Don't be invasive with it. No. No. Nobody gives a fuck. Nope. Don't push it this way, because I'm not, I'm not having it. Right. Right. I can see he was getting under his skin a little bit when I started to make those comments about, you know, the Bible flumping and shit, but, you know, it is what oh. it is. 
Jack. He be all right. Yeah. But in his defense, he don't know no better right now. No. When when he don't know when to keep his mouth shut. He'll learn. It's okay. He'll learn one day. That's half of my problem. I don't shut up because I don't give a fuck. Steve, you've been through enough in your life. You don't need to. You don't need to be dealing with anybody's shit. Maybe. You got your, you got your ways of doing things and saying shit, but it is what it is. People have to accept you for who you are. Yeah, if they don't fuck off. I, they don't I, fuck off. Yeah, it, it has no bearing on me <sighs> in my day to day or my family. Don't give a fuck. Nope. That's that's the that's the way it is today. The way the world is today, the, you know. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm oh, trying to live my I'm trying to live my life and enjoy my rest, whatever time I got left. I'm trying to enjoy it. And you never know how much time you got left. No, you don't. No, normally you don't. It sucks I'm when trying you to do. enjoy as much of it as, as possible. We're supposed to get like two to four inches from starting Thursday late afternoon, early evening. Well, keep that fucking snow up there by you. Uh, no. I'm gonna fucking send truckloads down there and dump it in the front of your house. Yeah. <laughs> you need the exercise. Shovel, bit, shovel. Put it right on your fucking... The only thing I shovel is my car, that's it. I don't even do that. Can't? Fuck, I barely make it to the car. My car barely makes it out of the fucking driveway in the wintertime. Steady snow tires, baby. On a Challenger? No thanks. Yeah. Uh, just saying. As a matter of fact, I gotta spring for new tires in the spring. I got a good set of ties on this car when I bought it for almost five years mm. ago. Mm. I haven't changed them since. They had well, I don't know how many miles they had on they had on the tires when I bought the car, but the car had twenty nine thousand original miles when I bought it. Right, and how many you got now? Fifty four. Yeah. That's because they're good tires. Still See the, the same problem, tires. See the problem is you have People who are not as fortunate, so to speak, so they go to a tire warehouse or whatever, and they buy tires for fucking a hundred and some bucks a piece. Yeah. And they're only good for fucking thirty thousand miles. Uh, some some tires, it's how they're rated. Yeah. That's all you get out of them. Now, I used to go, because this was over 10 years ago, 15 years ago. My truck tires, the tires that I ran on my dually, I didn't fuck around. Back then, they were like two, around 200 bucks a piece. Yeah. When a regular tire was selling for like 50 or 70. So what was it, $1,200 for the set? Front, yeah. Front and rear? Front and rear. No. Let's see, two. Six, eight, ten. Yeah, twelve. But I, you know how many miles I got out of them? No. Nah. Hundred and ten thousand. Oh well, well. It all depends on how you use it and how you know. Well, it's all highway, obviously. All highway, still, you know, they got to be checked every now and then for balance and everything. As long as you so, don't fuck around, you know, like people that own cars like I do, they burn the shit out of the fucking tires. I don't go out every time I get in my car. I don't fucking rip them apart. You're right. I'm trying to pull a fucking whole shot everywhere I go. <clears throat> I don't beat. I don't beat on my car at all. Do I get on it every now and then? Yeah, I'll be honest. I mean, it goes. The son of a bitch goes. I don't. I don't need to do much. But I, I don't get in the I, car and fuck around every time I get in it. My dually used to go. I ate up a goddamn fucking BMW one day. 
<laughs> ate him up. BMW well, gotta, owners are a bunch of fucking snobs. But the thing, well, BMW is nothing to laugh at either. No, it's not. I'm talking they are, things they are a bunch of snobs. Oh yeah. <laughs> did I tell you the other? When when did I go to my doctor's? Monday. Yeah. I just saw a Tesla pickup. That thing is the butt ugliest looking motherfucking hunk of junk to roll down the road. What is it? The Tesla pickup. Oh, the Tesla pickup. Uh, and like you just said. You're not said, talking about the Cybertruck, are you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't even like consider that a pickup, to be honest with you. But just like you said, nothing but a snob's going to run that. And it used no, to be... That's somebody that's uh, left-wing and, yeah, has, and has a shit ton of money to spend on stupid shit. All right. Oh, my shit shipped. Just as like I said, like I was telling Kenny last night, remember oh, I said it's either, it's either going to come from New Jersey or Connecticut? Yeah, yeah. it's coming, coming from Jersey. I knew it would. Probably take you two days to get up there. Yeah, I'll get it Monday. It'll go through the system. I'll UPS drop it, drop it Monday. You think it'll, you think it'll be here Monday? You serious? Not any sooner? No. They delivering shit on the weekend. You know that, right? Not here. You get where I am. No, I know exactly where you are. Sticks. Bear farts, and I might lose the power. <laughs> Fuck. No, he'll, he'll be here Monday. When? Uh. When is fucking Christmas? Christmas is on a Wednesday. Oh, that's gonna piss a lot of people off. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that's gonna piss some people off. Right smack in the middle of the fucking week. Right They're gonna get one, the the week. one day off, that's it. Too bad. How's that? Every year I used to take I used to why look at the calendar and go, okay, are they gonna give us a day off between or how's this gonna work? What is it? A way is it a Tuesday, Wednesday or is it a Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah. Which is it? Because I don't know. What? Christmas? Christmas, yeah. Wednesday. Is Wednesday Thursday or Tuesday Wednesday? No, it's Wednesday. What are you talking about? Wednesday Thursday. I Christmas do, is I, on. When I told, when I discussed that, I I include Christmas Eve and Christmas Day together. So if Thursday. it's if it's I I say it uh, both days. Tuesday. Is it is it a Tuesday Wednesday or Wednesday Thursday? Tuesday Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Tuesday see now I'll sit here and go. If I was still working, I would go, huh. Are they going to give us Monday off, or are they going to make us come in on Monday? That would make you... Hey. Well, it's, it's just like... Who the fuck said it? That's the problem in the garbage industry. The garbage doesn't stop. Yeah. There's a so, lot of shit that don't stop. I mean, it's just like the USPS. Just because you don't get mail on Sunday don't mean that mail ain't moving. No, it's moving. It's moving. Packages move. Yeah. Especially, especially this time of year. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. But if I was still working and somebody asked me about, you know, what do you think they're going to do? I'm going to say, okay, well, we're coming in Monday. Oh, yeah, fucking right. They're going to make us come in Monday. Right. The, the nice thing to do would be to give everybody off. Yeah. But they're not going to do it. No. It just piles up, literally. And that's another reason why I stayed on roll-off for as long as I did. Because if you drive any of the other trucks, picking up any waste, you fucking lose out on your, your holiday. Right, right. Like the front-end guys, Christmas uh, Eve, 11, some of the guys, 11.30 at night, 12 o'clock midnight, they got to go in and go to work. Right. Christmas Day? Yep. Or into Christmas Day. 
And fuck that, man. So I don't think so. When you're working for the government, I only had seven days off a year. That's it. National holidays. That's it. I think I only had six. Yeah, I only got so, six. You got Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Yeah, all the major have, holidays. Yeah, all the majors. Fourth of July, maybe maybe Labor almost, Day, and Memorial Day. That was it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, six. Yeah. That was it. That was it. No, 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 just thank God I ain't fucking working no more. I don't have to worry about that shit. No, you old fucker, you. You old cripple fucker. Alright, we gotta go eat before we get sick. I'll be back. Alright. Being careful.
lights on and stop in here and get fuel. Three fifteen a gallon, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. I'm just gonna change a few settings here before we take off. Something here, yeah. all right. For some reason, the sim dash, all the fuel gauges on any dash that I put up are not working at all. They're on empty, which is not the case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna shut the sim dash off and restart it. And we'll get going. Eight miles to go, so we're all right. Before we take off, we're gonna do and change a couple of settings because my cameras are not right. All right, options, keys and buttons, and we need the cameras, 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 cameras. There we go. This is the problem right here. Get rid of that. There we camera. 30, 31, 32, 33. Interior is button six, which is there. Interior look forward. Yep. We're good there. Interior zoom. I think I know where that one is. Uh <coughs> Thank you. 
Quick save is down. Take it easy. Take it easy. This is down. Audio player. Okay, 34, 35, 36, 37. And we're good to go. I think we're okay now. Pablo Cruz. Yep. Yeah. He's, He's got, got the board. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on for tomorrow. Well, living in the old man. Where'd you say you were going again? Going to your place and slap you around and you don't watch it. Smart the fuck up. Nowhere. Zip. Living in the old man, we're gonna go to his great his grandson. Okay. They live an hour and a half away. She's got macular degenerations. When it starts getting dark, she can't see the dark. Yeah. Plus it's gonna snow later. Tomorrow? Up here? Yeah. Thank you. My sim dash is I pulled in to get fuel just now because my sim dash was telling me that uh, the tank was empty. Well, getting empty. So I pulled in. Turns out every one of my fuel gauges on my sim dash are not working. So I reset the sim dash. I turned the tablet off. Reset it. I'm going to see if they work now. Sometimes it'll only show the miles. I can go. It won't show the gallons, and it won't show the gauge. Then all of a sudden, boom, it starts working. Yeah. He was doing that to me the other day. Mm. I don't know why. Probably just a glitch. I am going way south in Texas. Brownsville? Like down Brownsville. near the border, south. Yeah, Brownsville and McCullough. You're using the profile we made, or? Huh? Are you using the profile we just made, or? You... No, I'm using my personal. Oh. The one you helped me with yesterday. Oh, now that it's working. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks to you. It's gonna suck when you don't, huh? Makes you kind of worry. What the fuck? Slow down or pay up. I should do one time. Okay. Something. He just fucking deleted it. Like you're a stupid fuck. I'm averaging 4.6 miles per gallon. built this freight liner this morning. It's a uh, the XL. I went with a short frame this time. 
Huh. It's easier than a park. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Well, it looks nice, too. Kaye, you motherfucker. Never come up on a truck's right side, man. Fuck off. Fucking dickhead. Wow. That's just fucking ignorant. Got a double gate here. Thank you, sir.
Come on, moron. Okay, there is the spot. I gotta leave the fucking yard horse right there in my fucking way. Why you gotta be so hostile? Cause it's just, it's just stupid. The developers want you to have a challenge. I know, but we're pretending this is real life here. In real life, some jerky Joe would park that in the way. And oh, you yeah. know that. Which is what they just did. Right. So there you go. Real life, baby. Real life dumbest game. Bingo. Unfucking believable. What is going on in this? 